How's it going guys? This is Tech War Tactical and this is a new video continuation of the little trip that I had to a uh, a sportsman's outdoor store which I'm not going to mention because well they they don't pay me. So you can pick these up anywhere. These are a men to mags. They do everything from uh, rifle mags to pistol mags uh, from Glock and AR and I think I think they do AK as well. I've been really on the fence about them, but I wanted to pick one up just to see kind of the, the the quality that I'd be dealing with. That way, I know for sure I can I can recommend or not recommend something to people. So this is going to be unbag unbagging unbagging video of their Glock magazine. I meant two, made in the USA. I like that same on either side this claims that it can hold 34 I'll be the judge of that and it also says patent 9 millimeter okay so this is basically uh, their their Glock magazine clones there we go I can only assume that these are straight polymer that there is no metal insert in these which I is kind of a deal breaker because I can I can push it in relatively easily <laughs> and I'm not the strongest guy in the world I can push it in on the side as well I can't push it in on the front can't push it in on the sides either so that's a little worrying but you know what if I end up just getting a decent range mag out of it for the what did I even pay for this 18 bucks Paid 18 bucks for this. So if I can get a decent range mag out of it, I'm not extremely disappointed. Everyone knows that Glock magazines are reliable. Here's their little breakdown if you want that. There you go. Everyone knows that Glock mags are reliable. No one is going to argue that, at least not very hard. And there's so many different things from rifle platforms to pistol platforms that run them. They're kind of ubiquitous at this point. There we go. And there we go. So we're running it close to nine inches. So this is just a really simple overview of it. I will be taking it to the range at some point when I can and put a little more hard use onto it. I have a bunch of different non-brand name magazines, which I like putting to the test. Because a magazine is a magazine, and at some point, we know that the brand name guys are going to do it well. If you buy a Dell computer, you know that you're going to get a Dell quality computer. If you buy one that isn't, then you know you're not really probably going to get one. Like you're not going to get one that's Dell quality, at the very least. So. Bearing that in mind, I just wanted to see what exactly the quality stood up to uh, under a little bit of scrutiny from an everyday guy who I don't flat land operate, I, I don't do any of that, I'm just a regular everyday kind of enthusiast. So we'll see where this goes. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next one.